So, how many of you got how to revise a bit more now? Raise your hand. Now, let me break it down for you. What's this image? When information goes into your brain and you don't revise, you lose the information. Most of you that don't revise, this is what's happening. Revise, no revision, gone. Revise, no revision, gone. Information, no revision, gone. Information, no revision, gone. Information, no revision, gone. Some people over Easter are smart. Revision is the key to success. Guess what they do? Information, revise and review, remember more. Information, revise and review, remember more. Success. A lot of you do this. Over Easter, you're gonna be chilling, we're on holiday. You're not on holiday over Easter. Your little brothers and sisters are on Easter, but you, boot camp, how many, is there a revision class in school? You need to be coming there every single day there's a revision class. Why? You're using that to revise and review so you can remember what? More. Let me tell you what happens. You can use flashcards, record it to your phone, act out your information. You can sing it to yourself. It doesn't even matter. You can draw it. You can eat it. Yeah, watch this. I've got pizza, pizza in front of me. On the top of the pizza, I sprinkled three key words on that pizza. Then I ate the pizza. Is your brain going to remember what toppings did you put on that pizza, yes or no? Yes. It's a wacky way of revising. Number seven, watch this. Number seven, love it. Get a teddy bear, hug it and be like, I love you. But today you're going to teach me the facts about history. While the teddy bear is teaching you, you're pretending the teddy bear is you and you're the teddy bear. Some people are going to think you're crazy. But guess what? It works. Number eight, weird places. I want you to go home, you got five key facts. Go into one corner of the room, in your cupboard, lock yourself in the cupboard, and learn the key facts in the cupboard. I'm not lying. When you get to the exam and you say, brain, what did I learn in my cupboard? The information will come to you because you revise in a weird place. Number nine, teach it. The second you learn something, make sure you teach it. Because if you teach it, that means you know it. Number 10, simulate the information. Here's what you do with simulating information. You become the information. Hi, I am photosynthesis. This is what I do. Yay! Now, it is weird, but when you get to the exam, your brain goes, who are you? Photosynthesis. I am osmosis. Yay! All of that. He's laughing, but trust me, it works. Poster it or make it. Those of you like to create stuff, get the keyword and create something out of it. Let me show you this. A student comes into a lesson, they learn this much. If they don't revise a day after, the information, they don't recall as much. By the time the exam comes round, this is how much they remember, with no revision. That's why we keep telling you revise, revise, revise. Watch this, other students come to the same lesson and as the recall level is going down, what do they do here? Revise. They revise, their recall goes up. Day 14 is going down, what do they do here? Revise. revise. It's about to go down, what do they do here? Revise. When they get to the exam, how much are they remembering? Between 80 to 90% information because they're constantly revising. This guy or this girl comes to the exam and says, I don't get it because they did no what? Revision. So if you want to do well, guess what you do? Make sure that you're constantly revising in order for you to remember. Does that make sense, everyone? Yeah. Does that make sense for everyone? Real quickly, teach the person next to you what you have learned about revision. Let's go. <laughs>